Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be unboxing the Uvex Bionic Space Shield. So I bought a, a three pack combo because I might give some to my family and stuff. But um, it's also a little bit cheaper if you buy bigger quantity. So, you know, PPE is, is useful. So uh, this is a second, again, this is a secondary protection uh i'm uh, when i'm wearing this i'm also going to be wearing my goggles and my face mask so um let's get to it here i already opened one I'll take it out for you Here's the face shield how it comes like it has both tips i already opened it so i'm gonna move this real quick all right so now we have the face shield and the head shield. Let's get to it. I'm gonna show you how to put these two together. This looks crazy, but it's actually pretty simple once you know how it works. But this is pretty straightforward. So what you wanna do is you wanna unscrew both of these. Let's do one side first. So we'll take one side out. And then the back one. All right, so this is the forehead, right? So the back one is the one that I'm gonna use because I'm gonna have goggles. So the, this is gonna be further, the shield will be further away from my face. Therefore, I have room. So I put it towards the back. I'm gonna, since this is the head, this is where the shield would go. So I'm gonna put it through the hole. Put it through the hole. And then what you wanna also do is on the inside right here, there's little tiny, holes and there's a tab right here uh, this is basically to determine uh, what kind of face you have uh, if you put it towards the back it's gonna be a sharper cut into your chin and if you put it towards the front it's gonna have more of a wide angle so you just gonna have to put it on and kind of like adjust it to you, you specifically to your head I'm gonna put it to the furthest one holes on the side we're gonna add in the screw Ta -da. and you do the same for the other side which I'm gonna do right now so we're gonna unscrew make sure that the adjustments are the same on both sides so it's even I'm putting it through the hole and then after it's through the hole I make sure that it's also in the furthest hole for the for furthest tab for me screwed in. Ta-da! I've installed my harness onto my face shield. Now I know that if you over crank the sides it's going to be a lot harder for you to um, pull the face shield up. So what I did is once it's tightened you kind of I held, I hold the front of the visor and then uh, I try to adjust it and if I'm able to move it back and forth I, I'm good you know. Is how it's gonna look of course this comes off so you don't have to worry about that now I want to talk about the back of the headset how to adjust this you could just pop it out from um, it has these little tabs as you peel it open you that's how you would clean this uh, material because you're gonna be sweating on it you know so uh, once it gets all gross and stuff you take that off and wash it and then reinstall it now for the top of the head for the top of the head adjustment it's very sim it's basically um if you wear a hat and it has a strap it's basically the same thing just pop it open at the top it has one tab and you just slide it back and forth if you have a bigger head on top it, it's uh it's gonna adjust the the width of your head i'm just gonna put it in the random hole for now now, on the back side, I love this contraption, by the way. This contraption right here, this is gonna adjust how tightly it's gonna grab you, your head from the side. So if you push in, when you push in, it's gonna release it, it's gonna lock it. And as you turn to the left, it's gonna widen up your, your the grip. And then if you tighten it to the, if you turn it clockwise, then it's gonna tighten. And then when you're done, you just let go and it just locks into place and you're good. And then you're ready to use it. I noticed some defects on this product. It's just my, like if I'm doing a quality check, like it's just not smooth. 
You notice that there's a little chip right there. Um, same thing with the inside of the visor right here. You can tell that it's not smooth. It's just, it bugs me a little bit. Um, you can, yeah, those are the only two defects that I can see with this so far. It is made of plastic, so it is very light. At the same time, it's very cheap. I don't think that it should have been as costly as it was. I paid about like 30, about 35, let's say 35, you know. Um, I bought it through Amazon, three pack. I'll leave the description below. But, um, yeah. All right, I'm gonna show you how to take off the face shield. So, I heard that you pull it from one side, like so. It's gonna pop out, like so. And then you're gonna pull, you wanna pull it from the other side as well. Voila, uh-huh. Now next, you there's a it, the little hood at the top, you wanna pull that down and expose it. So I'm just gonna use both my hands for this part. Let's see. Oh, actually, hmm. Let's see if I can take it from the bottom. from the bottom so, took it from the bottom and it just pops right out so now you have the face shield now a lot of people have been complaining about you know oh why is it so murky why is there why is it a blue tint and stuff and they get upset that it's not clear it's not see-through so I'm a lot of, if you read the, the reviews you just need to remove the film strip and you're done you know so I'm gonna show you exactly how that goes, you know? Oh wow, look. It's coming off. Wow. All right, that's one. And then it should have a backside as well. So let's go get it. Come on. Where you at? Oh, there you are. Very clear, very clear. So, time to reinstall. Exactly how you took it out, put it back in. So I'm gonna put the it under the hood first because that seemed like a lot of hard work earlier. So I'm gonna put the headset down. I'm gonna bend it a little, insert it at the top. Once I've inserted it at the top, I'm going to pull it over the bottom hood and then make sure that the hole aligns with the nub at the bottom. Ta-da! Now that that's done, I'm gonna put pull both the sides back into the side of the face shield. All right, easy enough. And last part is this side. Let's bend this. It doesn't snap. <laughs> All right. Oh, it didn't go into the top part. Oh, it popped out, that's why. Let's see if I can get it in. Ta-da! And there you have it. My face shield is completely installed. Super clear. This is gonna be up. Yeah, but once I pull it down, ta da! It's very clear. It's very wide. It's pretty big. Um, well, oh look, another defect. There's also a defect like a little scraping right here. If you can see. You know. It's just. It's just me. All right, guys, so this is the last part. I'm gonna show you how the face shield looks on my head. I know that there's a lot of reviews out there already, but they don't really show you the back of your head. I don't know if you guys even care how it looks on the back. I kind of did, and I didn't see how it looked, so I'm gonna show you guys. So, I'm gonna put this over my head. I already adjusted the top of my head, so it sits comfortably on the, my forehead. And then I'm gonna Adjust the back part, twist it in, make it tight, release to lock it. I'll pull down my face shield, and then it's not done. Okay, I'm gonna lift my hair back.
sapat. Hi guys. So again, I'm wearing my goggles. And I just wanted to show you how this fit with the goggles. I'm also wearing my face mask. And there's a lot of room. Um, you do hear uh, yourself a lot louder. Because the sound is vi uh, bouncing off of the shield. And you're getting a lot of the audio. And, uh, but I heard that um, you can also... People outside the mask can also hear you. Because the sound is escaping from the the empty void areas you know so that's good that they can also hear you that way you don't have to always like um, talk to them when you know you wouldn't know but yeah i hope this helps thank you for tuning in and i hope this helped you bye